Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Um, just wanted to share a couple of books I've picked up recently off of eBay. Um, you may remember I did a video on this particular one. It's The Art of Star Wars Episode 1. So um, I did that probably a few months back now. So I will put a link in the description um, so you can go back and watch that particular video if you're interested. Um, basically these books, for those of you who haven't seen them before, they're just basic concept art um, for the for the prequel movies. Um, so very happy to finally get these two. Um, got these shipped from the UK on eBay and for both books cost me about $18, which really is just absolutely amazing price. I think one of them cost me, or one of them was $10, one of them was $8. So I'm extremely happy to get these two finally. Um, it says Revenge of the Sith and Attack of the Clones. So what I thought I'd do is just make a video on each of these two. So I'll start with Attack of the Clones and I'll upload the Revenge of the Sith one straight afterwards. So um, a really nice book. Um, nice hardcover book. Been wanting to get these ones for years. So... Um, as it says there, including the screenplay at the back, so there's just some absolutely amazing concept art in here. Um, there's just the opening page, a bit of artwork on the uh, Geonosis Arena there. So I'll just give you a quick flick through and just give you an idea. So you got contents page there. So a lot of it's just absolutely amazing artwork. So you've got a bit of the uh, Coruscant nightlife. There where uh, the scene where Zam Wessel crashes her speeder and Anakin chases after her. Um, here we have some concept designs for Zam Wessel's speeder. Obviously there's the final design there. Obviously different colours, but just throughout the book there's just many different concepts um, of these artworks of um, vehicles and stuff. So it's definitely, a, definitely an interesting way to see what could have been and what ifs and let me see some concept art for Anakin a really nice artwork there's his speeder so I'll just sort of flick through a little bit more some uh, concepts of weather for Camino. some concepts for Padme there's some absolutely amazing artwork there's some Jedi Temple sort of different concepts of weather and lighting and so just sort of flick through from the back we have a bit of a battle scene there there's the uh, thingo screenplay so some more concept for Padme's um, outfits Count Dooku's Solar Sailor, I think it's called from memory. And obviously, a painting of a battle scene which is based on the end of the film where um, Anakin and Obi Wan fight Count Dooku, so a really nice sort of scene. You know, we sort of get into a lot of concept art with all the Separatist vehicles and um, all the Confederacy's vehicles and stuff like that. So, just an absolutely fantastic book. Just amazing artwork. Obviously, here's a scene sort of with the battle there, where the jet, jet surviving Jedi all surrounded. Um, some of the beasts, like the Nexu. So there's a few other little designs there. Um, yeah, it's just some absolutely amazing art. In these books, here's some more Jedi. So that one obviously became Luminara. There's some concept ideas for Kit Fisto. There's Shakti. It's almost looking sort of Knight Sister-ish there, which is kind of cool. Um, there's a couple of other Jedi. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of amazing artwork. I'll try and find particular piece. I'm just giving you a quick sort of flick through. Some more senators and on oh, then the the uh, confederacies um, head honchos, I guess you'd say. Words not coming to me straight away. Now here's some concept art for the idea before Count Dooku was actually selected. Um, 
that's sort of where Asajj Ventress's sort of concept idea came from, was in the designs for um, the successor to Darth Maul, basically. So before Count Dooku was selected, we were getting um, concept art of this particular Sith Assassin style um, female, which is really cool. So there you get the uh, idea of Asajj there. A few other cool, cool looking designs. So really interesting. Uh, I've said it a few times the idea of having another line of concept figures. I mean, we had the Macquarie concept figures back in two thousand seven, but what I think would be a great idea is have a line of basically concept prequel figures. Um, we have seen a few in the past, such as Kiati Mundi who's wearing an eye patch. Um, We've seen a concept Anakin from Revenge of the Sith where he's pretty much dressed in all black and a few others, but I think it would be cool just to see just to see a full line of, say, 12 figures from... and that would give four figures from each of the films so you get a concept Darth Maul or something like that. Um, this is a scene on Kamino. This is uh, Django. Clone Troopers, this is cool. This is sort of before they decided to go with a clone of Django. So they didn't quite design this based on the Mandalorians. This is sort of images based on what they they thought would be early interpretations of a Stormtrooper. And I actually think they look really, really cool. So we got one there. It's sort of a bit more of a Mandalorian influence to him. And that's when they sort of got into these images. That guy there. And obviously finishing up with what we all know now. So we've got the clones. Just trying to keep this in focus. The Kamino ones. So just an absolutely fantastic book. Um, it's amazing. I could have bought each of these for about thirty dollars each from Interstate on eBay, but I found them from a couple of um, bookstores based in the UK. And like I said, this one cost me I think ten dollars, and the other one cost me eight dollars, being a not being a hardback, unfortunately. But it's still cool to have the book. But yeah, stay tuned because I'll be back with the uh, Revenge of the Sith. So yeah, keep an eye out for that and. Uh, May the force be with you guys. I hope you've enjoyed having a look.